All right, everybody, welcome. Welcome to the, the Vive Pace Setter Training, the Tuesday night Vive Pace Setter Training. And this is a place where we're, we're coming together uh, as a family, as a team, to just, just really help you guys grow, especially the, you guys with new businesses. Uh, do some one-on-one some -on -one training, some tech splits training, and just to uh, keep you guys up to speed, keep the momentum going. Uh, so I want to go through a, a few things as we go forward here. Uh, there's, a, there's a new service or a new... Um, I guess a new feature. We have some of the top income earners in our company. There's half a dozen of them that have agreed to make themselves available. They're, they're pretty much full time in Vive. And what they did is they put a calendar together. Now what this is, this, this calendar, it's called Vive Leader Support. And I think it's, uh, it's viveleadersupport.com. I'll type it in the chat, just bear with me. Uh, let's see. And you guys, you guys should have gotten this in an email anyway. But what they're basically doing is they're making a calendar available Monday through Friday for anybody anywhere in Vive Nation to be able to book time with um, – these are all seven-figure earners in network marketing. They're, they're all full-time people, so they, they, they definitely know their stuff. And you can book time for coaching calls. You can book time for strategy sessions. You can book time to show this business to somebody and they'll help you show it, or they'll be available as a third party to answer questions. Um, so all kinds of reasons um, that you might use this. So a good case in point is if you guys are in our downline and, and you went to show this business and you wanted to get me or Kenny for a call, and for some reason we weren't available, uh, you can go right to this calendar and book some time. So what this means is we have you know, pretty much full-time support. Uh, again, especially if you guys that are new building your businesses, I strongly, strongly encourage you going there and grabbing a coaching call and just, you know, see, see what it's like and get to know some other people. So um, I think that's a really, just a really, really powerful tool. It's very kind of gives you an idea of the leadership in this company, you know, what they're willing to do to support people all over the country as we grow out here. So make sure you're checking that out. Um, and as I was talking to Steve earlier, you guys, again, especially if you're new to network marketing, one thing I want you to realize now that, now that summer's over, even though it may be not officially be over, but uh, now that school is back in, um, people are much more focused. They're, you know, if, if somebody had, you know, was a single mom or a stay-at-home mom and they were dealing with their kids being out of school, uh, people's time is now back in order. So uh, I like to do a 90-day push here myself. And most of the professionals in network marketing worldwide They'll use September, October, November, into December as really their building months. So somebody that's full-time in this business, they put the gas down for the next 90 days. And what they do is they go on a recruiting spree, and they try to recruit like 30 new people in 90 days. And then they spend the rest of the year working with those new people, helping them build their businesses. Right? So they do a 90-day push, and they spend the rest of the year building a business. 90-day push. So... Um, I just wanted to make you guys aware that this is really the time when you're going to get the best results as you're reaching out to people. People are looking for extra ways to make some dough heading into the winter, the, you know, summer's over, all that stuff. So just want to make you guys aware that these are the building months. Uh, I mean, uh, we build all year round. It's a business, so I build all year round. But this is definitely the strongest time of the, of the year to build. Um, and we're going to get, obviously we're going to do some tech splitting here. The, for those of you that are new to this, this training, this is a working meeting. We're going to give a little bit of content, um, you know, every Tuesday night at seven, but then we get into blitzing with you. We all take our phones out. We do the same thing. We actually use this most of this time here to blitz and build the business, right? So again, if you're brand new, we, we can coach on what to say, how to say it, who to reach out to, where to reach out to them. And this, I think, is a very powerful tool for you guys because it means you can start building a sales force today and, and you don't need to train them. Right? We, have, we have this ongoing training where we, where we book appointments with each other. And then at 8 o'clock, if you guys don't know, I can post the link here. We have a, a brand new Fast Start training. So what that means is every single Tuesday, we have sort of a, uh, an ongoing training, which is this one. And then we have a Fast Start training for brand new people. So if you have somebody that you sponsor on a Thursday, they're never more than seven days away from a fast start training if you don't know how to fast start training yourself or if your upline hasn't done that with you. So this means that nobody, you know, nobody's ever more than a couple of days away from, 
from uh, starting their business and getting, you know, one-on-one -on -one coaching. And what I'll do, let me, I'm going to put this in there. Let me get the link for you guys and post it in the chat here. Hold on, bear with me for a second. All right, so there you go. So the, the Tuesday night fast start training every every train uh, every Tuesday at eight o'clock. So if, for those of you that have been in other network marketing companies, I think what you'll find with Viv that's different is our willingness to put so much personal time into helping you guys build your business. Um, you know, a lot of companies out there, they just pretty much you know here's your business and, and here's a set of books or here's some stuff. And, um, you know, nothing, nothing bad about that, but some of the companies are so damn big that they don't have that one-on-one -on -one attention. So uh, what we're trying to do is just really, really make ourselves available to help you guys build your business. Uh, so make sure you're taking advantage of that. And if, if you haven't gone through one of those yourselves, uh, Jenny's actually doing the one tonight. So, and she's a beast. She's an absolute beast <laughs> in this business. So um, if you have the time after this and you're brand new, I would highly suggest you jump on that, that eight o'clock Zoom meeting and go through a proper fast start training. All right. Um, so let's see. One of the things I want to get into tonight is, is developing the skills, right? The one thing I think in network marketing that people miss, and the reason why a lot of people don't succeed at it, is they treat it like a, just a, a hobby and they do it whenever it's convenient, uh, which is really never. There's never a convenient time to, to build, right? It's, it's, it's always going to be on purpose. It's always like, okay, you know, every Tuesday night at seven, I, I block it out and, and I'm building my business. And maybe for two hours on a Saturday morning, I'm building my business or, you know, 20 minutes a day, or, or maybe it's a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, a half hour, right? But you guys, you have to come up with a calendar, you know, booked time, no different than going to work or no different than uh, my good buddy, Paul, he's got a landscape business coming up. You know, you don't just book the appointments and not show up. So it's really no different than any other business where we have to book time for it to build it and here's where the paradigm comes in because you're not getting paid an hourly rate it becomes easy to blow off and just go do something else and you just got to realize what you're doing is you're blowing off your business it's not going to affect my income or Kenny's or anybody else's uh, it's purely going to affect your income so um, I really want you to get get in that mindset of, of we call it delayed gratification right when you're building your business the first six months or a year uh, you might not be making good hourly money, right? It, you're building a sales team, you're building a client base, um, but you are building residual income, right? Every single electric customer we get and a lot of the other customers, we're building that monthly residual income. And then we get one or two business partners and they start doing the same thing and we're getting residual income on them. So just understand there's a delayed gratification to network marketing. Um, so the first year, it might not be a good hourly rate, the second year, it might be a very good hourly rate. You might be averaging 50 bucks an hour, you know? Uh, but the third year, uh, it becomes really good hourly. You might be averaging 300 bucks an hour. And then, you know, if, if you're making, you know, five, you know, 5,000 a month, if you, wanna, if you wanna average a really good rate, just take the month off because you still get the five grand a month. Boom, boom, boom. So you can work one hour and make five grand for that hour. So it's a whole different mindset. And I just wanna really get you guys locked into that because it's no different than any other business. You gotta build it. Um, so we're talking about the skills, that's what Steve LaBelle was talking about. There's a couple of books that I recommend you guys get uh, right out of the gates. And I always recommend getting the audio, the audio files. The, um, I have a little app called Audible where you can, get, you can listen to this stuff in your car as you're driving around, you know? Uh, first one is called um, Your First Year in Network Marketing by Mark Yarnell. And I've, I've put these out before um, in emails, and I can put them out again. But it's your first year in network marketing by Mark Yarnell. I get a lot of my team is listening to that when they're brand new. I, I, I suggest it. it. It stops you from making a lot of the mistakes. You know, the high pressure sales, the, the bullshit, oh, this is easy. Anybody, you know, you can make $10,000 your first month. All the, all the things that people don't like about network marketing, it shows you not how to do that and how to just be honest and transparent and treat this like a business, you know. Uh, and the other one is the, uh, the book GoPro by Eric Worre. Uh, when I first started this business, and I, most of you guys know this, <clears throat> I was handed the, the GoPro 
Uh, it's a three CD set. And I was handed, that was handed to me by somebody who's making $110,000 a month in this, in, in the business. Uh, so I listened to him. Right. And, um, and I listened to it. He said, listen to this a hundred times as fast as you can. So I just, the first six months, I just, I kept looping it and looping and looping it. And what it did is it gave me like a four year degree in network marketing. It's not it's anything that's listened to. It's not rocket science, but you do have to listen to it over and over to burn it into your subconscious mind. So that language comes out when you're talking to people very transparently. Listen, I have a business idea when I run by you. It's, it may or may not be for you, but it's, it's worth checking out. You know, these are all things that we learn to lower people's walls so we can be transparent and show them a legitimate business. Uh, so I highly recommend both of those. And the last thing we're going to talk about, that's where the skills come from, by the way. It's just repetition, right? And the skills also come from doing, which we're going to work on tonight. So, so the main skills we have to develop are, are contacting and inviting. And then, and then the, the presentation, which most of the times the presentation is, you know, you're not going to be doing it. It'll be a video or it'll be someone else. It'll be a Zoom or a PowerPoint or it'll be a webinar. So most of the times you guys aren't going to be doing the presentation unless you have a team and you're a little further along and you're presenting for somebody in your downline like we do. So you really don't have to learn much for presentation skills other than how to have a, you know, have an appointment with somebody and then ease into the, you know, tell your story a little bit, you know, why you're doing this, this business and what it means to you. And then pressing play on a video or having your upline do the presentation. Um, so really contacting and inviting are the fundamental skills that you need to learn uh, in the early days. So that's what we're going to do mostly tonight. And that's what we're doing on this webinar is text blitzing. Uh, so we're, we're going to work on that together. But I want to give you guys some ideas on where we can reach out to people. Right? Obviously, we have our phone. We have all the contacts in our phone. We have Facebook. We have LinkedIn. Uh, there's an app called Shaper, which is S-H-A-P-R. That's a, it's a, it's a global networking app. Um, you know, we, I always say, you know, go to a gym, right? There's over 7,000 members at my gym. You can join BNI groups. You can join Facebook groups. You can join chambers of commerce. You can join Toastmasters, work on your public speaking skills. Um, I always say to network on purpose. And that's what you figure out when you, when you, um, when you read the GoPro books and you start, you know, if you sign up for Eric Worre, he's got a free website network. Actually, I'll type that in networkmarketingpro.com. And if you sign up and get his book or his audio CDs for a couple of bucks, uh, you're going to get like years of content, professional content from uh, arguably one of the best trainers in the world. And um, even my mentor is on there doing some training. Bob Proctor is a huge fan of network marketing. Um, and the reason why Bob is a huge fan of network marketing is because he says it's one of the purest forms of compensation. You literally get paid on your value. Now that can be really bad for some people and it can be really good for other people. If you're, if you're willing to do the work, build the skills and help people and you can get out and help people build a business, you'll be overcompensated. Uh, if you expect to join this and not work and show one or two people, you're not going to get compensated at all. So. Um, that's why Bob says it's one of the purest forms of compensation. People can make millions a month in this business if they just keep helping and helping and helping and then teaching other people to help coach and teach and train. So it's a business of people helping people, which I love. Uh, so why don't we do this, guys? I'm going to open up. Uh, we're going to get into a text blitz. And if you're brand new at this, um, I'll kind of go through this a little bit. Uh, when we text blitz, what you're really doing is just open up your list of your phone and the idea is it's, it's about quarter past. We want to reach out to, we want to send like 30 texts, right? We don't want to send one or two. That's not a high impact. We want to take like an hour or 45 minutes and reach out to 30 people. So this is what we call a high impact activity. And we're going to teach you what to say. And for those of you that, that are familiar with text blitzing, I'd like you to go ahead and start. Open up your list, open up your phone, start doing follow up. And I'm going to keep coaching uh, some of the other people that are brand new here. Uh, so the deal is, guys, that, is that every human being that you've ever come into contact with falls into one of three categories, right? They, they fall into an A, B, or C category. Now, an A category is somebody that looks up to you. These are people that we know really, really well. Like my buddy, Paul, I say, hey, Paulie, what's up, man? Listen, I want to I come by, have a beer. I want to I show you something, 
Like he, he's not going to say no. He's my buddy. And, um, you know, that's just one of those people that, you know, you can get an audience with. So everybody's got a small group of what I call a people, or they might even be people that look up to you. Maybe people that are younger than you, that you, the idea is you can pretty much tell them, Hey, we're going to get together. I want to run something by you. It's very easy language. And these are a great place to start because what we're trying to do in the beginning here is just have you practice, get in front of people. I don't even care if they say yes or no. That's not the point. The point is for you to get used to press and play on a video or, or used to using your upline to get used to doing three-way calls, to practice, 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 and get used to it. I've even When I started this business, I even asked people, listen, I have a new business. I want to use you as a guinea pig. Would it be okay if I come over and show you what's it about? Just full transparency, right? Does that make sense, guys? So we, we got to get you out of your comfort zone doing something you might not be used to doing, which is showing somebody um, a business model. So, um, so that's, that's, that's sort of the A group, right? And we can pretty much, like I said, we can just tell them, hey, brother, listen, I'd like to come over and show you something, get your opinion on it, spend a few minutes. Um, the B group is your peer group. This is going to be your largest group. These, might be, these are people that are, you know, pretty much, pretty much similar to you in some way, shape, or form, you know. They're not multi multi millionaires, but they're but they're not you know they're not way they're not socially and financially way beneath you either. It's like your peer group. You know we're all pretty much peers here, and um, I think that's more of how I reached out to Paulie. I just said, hey brother, listen, I got a business idea I want to run by you. You know, would it be okay one night this week if I came by and showed you what it's about? I was asking for his permission. I wasn't telling him to do it. I was asking for his permission, and we can help you guys with that too. Uh, so in the case of that. Um, you know, if I was reaching out to, let's say Steve and I were old buddies from high school and I hadn't seen him in a while, I might reach out to Steve and say, hey, hey bud, uh, listen, I see on Facebook that you're, you work for a geothermal company. Uh, listen, I, I got a business idea I want to run by you. I'd love to, I'd love to connect it. It may be a fit or maybe not, but I'd love to catch up and see what you've been up to. So it, there's a couple of things going on there where you want to you relate it to their existing business and you also want to give them an out. So it's, it's important to give people an out. Maybe a few, maybe not. I, I don't, you know, but it's worth taking a look at. Uh, does that make sense, guys? So and I think that's that the majority of what you're doing, you're going to want to give people an out. Um, oh, actually, Kenny, uh, Kenny just wrote something in the chat. It looks like it was some text blitzing. Yeah, this is a good one, too. Hey, would you be open to a, a side project or a side business? I like business better than project because project sounds like a pretty serious commitment. Uh, would you be open to a side business that didn't interfere with what you're currently doing? Right, that's the key. A lot of times people have a misconception of what this is, and they're already stretched. Most people are stretched, including you guys. So if we put some language in there, it says it does, it's not going to interfere with your core job or your core, you know, would you be open to exploring another avenue of making income? So these are some good language that Kenny put in there. Um, so make sure you take a look at that stuff as we get going. Um, so the B group, in my opinion, you, you want to relate it to what they're already doing. Right, you're, you're, you know, I see you're in real estate. I got a, I got a business idea when I buy you or whatever it is, and then, and then letting them off the hook mentally. And then the C group guys is what we call the chicken list. Um, these are probably successful entrepreneurs, maybe your boss, um, people that you are literally in fear of approaching because of your paradigm about what they're going to think about this business. And I had my share of those when I started too, but. I, I made a decision to just approach those people first to really just break through. Again, it was on the advice of somebody that was a six figure monthly earner, get those ones out of the way, get it in front of them. Um, you know, some people are going to have misconceptions about this business. You, you better get used to it and just deal with it. It's, it's I don't really care if somebody says yes or no. I just want to know which way it is and keep moving forward. Right. Uh, that, that's the biggest trick here, but the, the, you're going to be surprised because some of the more successful people, are actually going to see the leverage. Even if they don't do this business, they're going to see it. And they might refer you to a realtor or a property manager, or it might even be somebody in their family that they can run their business through. So when I reach out to somebody like that, you know, let's say it was Paul again. Say, hey, Paul, listen, uh, you know, I see you're, you know, successful running, you know, the, the liquor store and the car wash and, and your, in your 400 apartment buildings. So listen, I, I get a business idea I want to run by you. It's probably not for you but I'd like to get your opinion on it because maybe somebody in your network would like to work with me. So what you're trying to do is, is be honest. It's, listen, it's probably not for you, but I want your opinion on it. I'd like to get your advice on this. 
and see see what you think, you know. Um, so you're, you're kind of giving them a compliment if they already don't, but but not flattery. Flattery never works, but just a sincere, honest compliment. You know, you've been successful running these uh, your your apartment buildings for years, or you know, you're the CEO of a company. I'd really value your opinion. And this is a way to break the ice. And these are going to be some of the most um, successful leads that you have. They're going to lead you to other people. Does that make sense, guys? So, um, so why don't we go ahead and I'm going to open up for, for chat here. And I want you guys to start text blitzing. And if you, what I want you to do is if, you're, if you open up your phone, you get to somebody, you don't know what to say, just unmute yourself. Tell me a little bit about the person. And I'll help you craft something to them. And this could be for a customer or for the business. All right, guys, let's start, let's start hammering the phones. And, and uh, again, I want, I want your goal to be to send 30 texts uh, tonight as, as we're working here, as many as we can, um, to, uh, to help you know, you know, create a little bit of a moment, momentum here in your business. So does anybody have a question right out of the gate about what to send to who? The other thing we're going to be doing, guys, I'm going to put another link in here. If you guys want a text blitz, I'm going to run a live presentation at 8 o'clock. So if you guys want to invite somebody to check this out, hey, I got a business idea when I'm in bio. We're doing a live webinar at 8 o'clock, which is like 30 minutes. I can put the link. Uh, actually, I'll do that for you guys. I'll put the link right in here. Oh, let's see. All right, so there's a Zoom link. If you guys want, whoop, let me, hold on a second. Yeah, if you guys want to invite people to a live presentation where I'll show the whole business and then we can do a Q&A at the end together. Um, it'll be a small, you know, kind of an intimate thing, but uh, you might catch somebody. You know, you might catch somebody that's just hanging out on a Tuesday night. That's at eight, Brian. Eight o'clock, brother. Yep. Okay, thanks. And I'll I'll probably have to jump off this webinar here at like ten of because I have to switch accounts to get over there. So just so you guys are clear, so seven o'clock we do a group training like this, which is for everybody, no matter where they are in the country, they can come to this thing. We text splits just like this. We get people moving, and then eight o'clock. There's two different webinars. One is for brand new people. It's just a fast start. It's only meant to go through once. And then the other one is a business presentation where you guys can drive traffic all week long if, if you like that format. So generally what I say is that, you know, my feeling is that we should all be on this webinar here every single week to build the business. And then if you have a brand new business partner, you and the business partner could jump on the eight o'clock and go through a fast start. Or if you're inviting people to the business presentation, make sure you're on that as well. So if you're going to invite somebody to that, make sure you're on it so we can interact together and, and do Q and A. Does that make sense guys? So I'm really, really using Tuesday nights as a good uh, business building night so that we're not, we're not doing like three or four or five webinars, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and chewing the clock uh, for you guys. And all these are recorded, right, Brian? Yeah, these are all recorded. This one's recorded as well. Uh, and you guys will all get the replays, so you're not going to miss anything. I got somebody who's supposed to be coming on at seven, so I'll join in on that one. Or at eight o'clock, I meant for the fast start. Okay, yeah, perfect, perfect. And the other thing, guys, make sure to um, make sure to go to the YouTube channel. Actually, let me try and find the link. It's the Vive Success Network. All the trainings that we do. There's trainings from Eric Worre. There's trainings from Bob Proctor. There's trainings from me. Uh, for you guys, and I mean every step of the way, text blitz training, advanced text blitz training, presentations. We have recorded presentations. All this stuff, this this vast uh, resource pool, is on a, a free YouTube channel called the Beef Success Network. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go find that and I'll type it in the chat for you guys. Hold on. 
I highly recommend that you uh, you subscribe to it, and then also uh, make sure that your your people make sure we share the you know sh share the word with the stuff too. All right, I got the link here. I'll put this in there. So that last link there is the is the subscription, the YouTube channel. And so, Brian, just to be clear, so at eight o'clock, there's two. The fast start, and then you do a business presentation every Tuesday night? Yeah, Tuesday night at 8 o'clock. We're, we're running the business presentation and the fast start at the same time because ideally, I mean, nobody would ever be on both. Right. Right. I mean, if you have, uh, if you're bringing people to the business, um, showing them the business, and you jump on one. If you, if you have a brand new consultant and you want to be on the fast start, now you could have a brand new consultant. And also be showing people the business, in which case I would go to the business one and just have your consultant go to the fast start, you know? Right. Now, I was thinking because sometimes uh, about once a month I do a Tuesday job fair and I'll invite people to – and so this would be their first exposure to the business. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what I say is, hey, we've got one, something going on at 8 o'clock and see if I can get them to commit to that. Yep. Um, and if that's happened regularly, I'll do that, continue that modus of operandi. Yep, yep. We're going to keep doing these as we get bigger. So I'm going to run it. We'll be switching who's doing it, but every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock. So the other thing, guys, when you go to the YouTube channel, you can use the pre-recorded webinar as an exposure. You can sit with somebody, have a, you know, have a cocktail or a coffee, mm -hmm. and watch that presentation. Like that, you know, if it's a good friend of yours or if it's somebody that's willing to spend 20 minutes as opposed to like a 10-minute, you know, Right. Um, then you can watch that. You can use that as an exposure or you can use it as a second exposure. Mm -hmm. If you did, you know, if you used a six minute video or 11 minute video, or even if you just had a conversation, although you really shouldn't be having a conversation, you always want to use a tool, some sort of tool, even if it's this tool to, uh, to show the business model. Um, and they, they're coming up with more stuff too. say, Paulie, um, I'll get you to, we're booked. We're good for seven o'clock. All right, is that, um, we're going there in per person, right? Yeah, 7 o'clock Wednesday night, Air Auto Parts. Yep, so I'll be coming out of, I'll be coming out of uh, Westminster, so I'll, I'll drive right from there, I'll bring my laptop, and um, that's just a customer presentation, right? Uh, yes, yep. And then we'll see, we'll see if it, we'll see if it piques any interest to, to take it Yeah, from. do the, see if it, you know, if it's anything yeah. you're interested in or whatever, and go from there. Yep, I can, I can leak that out. And then yep. does, any, does anybody here have a copy of a switched, well, actually, it doesn't matter, but an autopilot bill? I mean, they look the same, except the suppliers changed. Uh, I do have, I do have a, an email with savings that I could send to you guys. Let's see. I, I've had questions. What does it save? You know, I didn't know if it's roughly 20%, up to 20% or something like that, or, you know. Uh, unfortunately, Paul, it's none of the above. It's, gonna, it's always going to vary. It's, it right. Be, it could be 5% to 60%. I've seen as high as 60 and as low as 5. Okay. But it really varies with the market. It depends what's out there. Yep. Right. So the only thing we can do, we can say that it's guaranteed to save you money. We don't know how much, but it's, it's painless. You never right. have to look at it again. Right. Yeah. Uh, I, do I was have just looking email. for somebody's yeah. list of savings just to show that, you know, hey, this month it was X, next month's Y, yeah. following month is Z. You know, it really depends on the market so that you can, I can explain it a little better. Yeah. Let me try, let me reach out to some people and see if I can get a report. Does okay. anybody, anybody here have one? Have they had a bill? I haven't had a bill long enough to get a report. Uh, I do know they have in the resources a nice uh, template with the instructions. Or they, they got like a sample bill and with the how to read it and all that um yeah we're looking for more of somebody that's already switched want an actual one right it's getting a report. let me yeah. let me let me ping my network here Polly. thanks appreciate it all right so make sure you guys are blitzing who has 10 uh 
Who, who sent 10 texts already? I can tell if you guys are sleeping. <laughs> and guys, like I said, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm here to help, but this is your business, so. Um, Brian, I have a question. Sure, go ahead, Alan. I went ahead and I went to the um, Viva Sex Network, the yep. last one that you just put on there. Yeah. They're all very lengthy. Um, on there they're very like 51 minutes and all that they're not well like i said those are really second exposures second exposures yeah i mean uh, you know that, that's like a longer there's questions at the end i mean there's q a those are longer you should watch one of them and see where and how you could use it as a tool but we have right now there's two i think there's two 12 minute videos one that brenda did and one that i did that can be used as a first exposure yeah i have those yeah so that's what I'm okay. using. But a second exposure would be that. This you know? would be better for second. Okay. Yeah. This is after somebody, if somebody's on the fence, say, listen, maybe if you, maybe not, maybe, you know, let's take a deeper dive into this thing. Let me show you. Let me show you a little more. And what you can do is you can say, hey, listen, we'll watch this video and then I'll get this guy on the phone. You can get, me, phone, get me to Brandon on the phone, you know. Um, we're going to, after this, after this weekend, we're going to have more tools. The company's rolling out a new slide deck, new videos. Um, oh, cool. So, so my boy Shane put out 60 texts total today. He must have blitzed a little earlier. I guess he wins the contest. He might. Yeah, I think he wins. But I want you guys to get the idea to, to get out of your comfort zone, pick up a phone. You know, and if you're going to sit down for a half hour, let's make it count. Let's put out, you know, at least 15 or 20 invites to people. Now, from the customer side of this, you might just be reaching out to somebody. Hey, listen, I'm reaching out to friends and family. I got a uh, new business. I'm looking for a little bit of help. Could I drop by for 15 minutes to show you what it's about? Or could we get on a quick Zoom meeting so I could show you what it's about? This would be close friends and family, you know? And again, if you're going to show somebody the customer side of this, you want to make 100% sure that you're using the customer videos. And we sent out that, um, we sent out an email with all the different customer videos. They're also in the back office um, and they're on the front office too when you, when you go to your thing. So if you're showing somebody as a customer, make sure that you just say, this is what I'm here to show you about. Open up your laptop, play a video. Um, now, Paul, in the case of you and I tomorrow, you're bringing me, I'm the tool. <laughs> so I'm probably not going to show a video. I'm going to no show I'm going to show a slide deck because that's a commercial account. Yep. But just realize that you are following a process. You're not using yourself. You use, you're using me. I become the, the resource. Correct. Yeah. Um, but I'm not going to, you know, you, you already gave me a little bit of background on the guy. So. Yep. Yeah. No problem. Cool. Cool. Got another one scheduled for Thursday too. So that's yep. for me. Is that a customer or for. Uh... Uh, both customer oh, cool. and show the business. So. Is that somebody that's close to you? Yeah, that's the one we discussed the other day. Okay. Is, Big is Mo, that, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that, uh, let me see. Is that one you need me to be? Oh, no, it isn't. Not yet. No, it's a solo. Okay. Well, from there, when you peak interest, so this is, this is really good. So, Polly's got somebody that he knows is probably not going to be open to having some stranger there or some stranger on the phone. That, that'll happen sometimes. So, Paul, what I want you to do is just understand you're, the only purpose of this first escalation is to get a second appointment. It's not to sell them. It's just to expose them, show them what's up, say, listen, I, now that you've seen this, um, what I'd like to do is, is have you chat with my you know, business partner. He can answer more questions. I don't know if it's going to be a fit or not, but he's been in this industry. He's, been, he's an engineer. He knows energy. He can show you a, a five-hour-a-week business model. Yep. So you want to sell the reason why, you know what I mean? And let them know too that I can also get a lot deeper into the compensation. You know, we can show you a plan to, to, to get the five figures, whatever it is. But you're really just trying to sell the next appointment, sell the coffee meeting or the beer meeting with you, me, and him, you know? Yep. All right? You got it. Great. Hey, did you, did you leave those posi track marks going all up the road? <laughs> Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Those are nice. Thank you. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, I slipped. laughs> uh, So who else is uh, who else is texting? And has a question on what to say or how to say it? Anybody?
I see we got we got Derek Richards on here, but I think he's just doing a. I think he's just on. I don't know if he's working. You working, Derek? Yeah. I think we, we call this ghosting when somebody just jumps on and acts like they're working. <laughs> hey, you know what I'll do, guys, too? I'm going to email. Most of you guys have this, but, Paul, I don't know if you have it. I'm going to email you guys. We actually have a, a, a Word document with a bunch of scripts. And I think it, it talks about the A, the a B, and the C person. Um, so like I said, pretty much every contact you have falls into A, B, C. I should have added a D, though. A D would just be like your 95-year-old your grandmother that's a customer. Um, but every single person in your phone, Facebook, LinkedIn, grocery store, anybody you ever meet in your life, we have a way to approach them. There should not be anybody that unless you just hate them and don't want to work with them, um, there shouldn't be anybody that you don't know how to approach. And that's what this webinar is for. If you get stuck on how do I approach this person, just uh, unmute your phone, unmute your thing here, and then uh, we'll help you work it out. So I'm going to try and dig up that email, and I'll, I'll, re I'll send it out to you guys. All right, guys, you should have all just got an email with the, the text uh, blitzing scripts. And they're just a place to start. What's going to happen here, guys, you're going to get a feel for what works and what doesn't. Certain words, you're going to find trigger words that, that turn people off and other things that lower people's walls, you know. Uh, I don't use the word join. I don't use the word opportunity. Um, there's certain things that, that, that just don't do. And I, I, I find the more you can uh, relate this to business, you know, business idea, business model. Something I want to run by you. Might be few, maybe not, things like that. Um, and then would it be okay if I drop by? Would it be okay is a good phrase. It's a lot of uh, neuro-linguistic program in there. Um, but those scripts that I sent over should be a good point for you. Paul, if you got to go, you can jump off, bud. Just uh, any of you guys, too, as we're doing this, the idea, I think you guys get the idea. Tuesday nights, 
come together. Let's let's send. If you send thirty, you know, thirty texts, you're going to get a few appointments. That's your business for the week. Do a few more on Saturday. Just repeat for the next fifty-two weeks, and you guys will be all set. You know. Anybody else have any uh, texting questions?
Hey, Victor, can you hear me, brother? I if he's ghosting us too here. <laughs> hey, there he is. There you are. Hey, I was going to say, I don't know what your schedule is like, but um, it might make sense to jump on the 8 o'clock webinar with Jenny and go – you haven't really gone through like a fast start with her. I mean, you and I kind of did, but um, – if you're free and available, might be something to jump on, you know? Tonight, 8 p.m., right? Yeah. Um. If not, no big deal. I just don't, I don't, I didn't think you had, I didn't think you had been on one. <clears throat> I'm just thinking, you know? Um. It's a tram on. All right, guys. I gotta uh, I gotta jump off anyway because I'm gonna be doing. Um, I gotta get ready for the next webinar. Does anybody have any um, questions before I jump off? All good. All right. So we're gonna be doing. If if any of you have anybody you want to show the business, just invite them. Ten minutes from now, jump on there, and you're welcome to jump on too if you want to just uh, you know listen to the listen to it and see what it's all about, so you can get an understanding of you know how to present and stuff like that down the road. All right, guys, hope you get something out of that. Have a great night. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon, and God bless. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Good thing. Take hey, care. Hey, Brian, what's the link for Jenny? Uh, just, I just put it in the chat right there. Okay. You see it? Thank you.